In other news, the story behind that triple murder in Gatineau, Quebec, is becoming clearer tonight. A man has been charged with murdering his estranged wife and her parents. The suspect was with the couple's 15-month-old son when he was arrested. Mike LeCouture reports. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. Virginie Lamotte tries to come to well, grips with what happened to her longtime friend. Thursday afternoon on this quiet Aylmer, Quebec street, 21-year-old Anne Catherine Powers and her parents were found stabbed to death in their home. They were so good people. I can believe that happened to, to them, actually. So, yeah. Police believe Powers' estranged husband, Shakti Ramsuran, was responsible for the deaths. He was charged today with three counts of first-degree murder. Thanks to a 911 call, police were able to track him down at the golf course where he worked, just a few meters from the crime scene. In the van with him, the couple's 15-month-old son. They, they gave uh, him his right, so he decided not to talk at all, so we, they brought him to the police station here in the, in the back here. The child wasn't harmed and is now with Youth Protection Services. The couple had been separated for about two months, but Ram Surin was still living in his in-law's house. And a Facebook conversation earlier this month between Lamotte and Powers showed that she was coping with the separation. Virginie asks, you're not too upset? And, no, no, it's okay. I'm the one who ended it. It was better that way. Lamuth says Ram Surin's drinking and smoking problems was a point of contention for the couple. In fact, he turned violent one night when the family was in his home country of Mauritius. He was drunk and he said that to her. Uh, he brought her outside and just, he, he said to her, um, eat in the garbage five times or I will kill your mother with the knife I had in my hands. So. When the couple came back to Canada, they soon separated. Ram Surin remains behind bars until his next court date, May 31st. Meanwhile, friends continue to wrestle with the pain of three lives that were taken for no apparent reason. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Gatineau.